boys welcome back to my channel today's video we're gonna watch a little short again here and we're gonna take a look of the consequence of the feminist lie and what is the feminist lie have sex with as much men as you want you could have baby when you're 40 years old 36 37 years old it's fine no problem have fun go go out there and have fun don't take care of your family. Who cares? You're strong and independent. Don't respect your man. Shit on him. Show him that how strong and independent you are. All that feminist bullshit lie. And over time, when you're going to be 40, 45, 50 years old, you're going to realize that the feminist was a lie. Because you're going to be freaking unhappy. You're going to enjoy, enjoy your youth. You, well, when you're going to be from, I don't know, from 16 years old, a young teenager woman, till that, that age, around 33, 34, and women start to go down the drain around 30 years old, and you're going to wake up at 35, you're going to realize that you lose a lot of value because you're getting old. And you're going to live in your delusional world? No, no, I'm strong and independent. I'm beautiful on the inside. And all that bullshit. And now you're going to realize that 35 and think, things change a little. The men don't give me attention like he used to. It's probably going to take another five years because women, most of them, not all of them, most of them are pretty freaking dumb. It's going to take another five years and it's going to be 40 years old before you realize, well... How come it's that way? Now you're going to start to question. Another maybe two, three years before you really realize that, man, the feminist was a lie. Now you wake up at, I don't know, 42, 43, 45 years old, and you realize the feminist is a freaking lie. And you realize that when you were young, everything that you did was kind of wrong. It wasn't the right thing to do at all. And let's watch a short here that explain the result the result of the feminist lie that's the result that's what could happen to you so let's listen to this i really have an issue with women pretending that they're stupid that they didn't do anything to contribute to where they end and there you go what she said over here and when there was woman they're 44, 45 years old, 40 years old, 38 years old. Some of them, that's what I said, they're so dumb. They're so freaking dumb. They're going to play that victim mentality. There's no good man out there. And which one that said there's no good man out there? The old one, 35 and above. Those are the ones, even 30 and above, those are the ones who's going to say that kind of bullshit. There's no good man out there. And you know what, guys? I want, I want to say something here. Very important. If you look at a woman, I don't know, 33 years old and above, and she's a nice piece of ass, she's a nice piece of ass, and she's down there saying that kind of bullshit, there's no good man out there. I want you to think about it. If that woman, she's a nice piece of ass, there's a lot of guys who ask her out. She's been a, on a lot of dates, most of them, and she rejects most of the guys that ask her out. She rejects them. And don't tell me, and all the guys that she rejects, you didn't have good men on, in, inside of those men. The blue pill guy who asked her out, the good man who asked her out, that she reject because the guy is a pussyfy male. But he's a good guy. He's a good man. But she rejected him. She reject the good man. She rejected him. And the proof is right there. You look at her, look, you're still a nice piece of ass. What you said doesn't make sense. Because there's a shitload of men who ask you out and you reject them. 
And they're that shitload of men, they have good guys inside of them. They have good guys who ask her out. But you reject them. This is the reality. I'm just talking pure logic and common sense. And women are down there. Oh, there's no good men out there. No. There's a ton of good men who ask you out and you reject them. That's it. End of story. Ended up because I had these friends. There were some of us that wanted to go out and wanted to go to the bar and wanted to go to the club and wanted to party with our girlfriends and dance all night and then go back home. And then there were the girls that were looking for powerful men. I have these friends. I have, I, I had a best friend who I lost because she became one of these girls. We went out to a bar. She met a rapper. And then she became a groupie for the next 10 years of her life, literally. There you go. What does that mean to, to, to become a groupie? You slept left and right with a bunch of guys. And what did I say about women with a high body count? Your value go down with a high body count count your value go down and as a man if you're a real man we're gonna find out about it you're gonna try to hide it if you understand male nature you're gonna try to hide it but we're gonna find out it's pretty easy how we're gonna find out all we have to do is question you about your past that's all we have to do and women love to brag but most human beings love to brag Oh, I've been in a yak at uh, on that place, and uh, I traveled there and there and there and there. And uh, you're gonna brag about your past, and we're gonna realize, okay, you've been there. No, now you're gonna say, I've been there with my friend. I've been there with another friend. I've been there with another friend. I've been there with another another friend. I've been there with another friend. You travel like crazy with a bunch of their friend male friend come on come on we're gonna put it together we're gonna put it together it's not a bunch of male friend you slept with those guys if you're a red pill guy we're gonna put it we're gonna put the puzzle together we're gonna put that freaking puzzle together Women with a bunch of freaking tattoo all over the place. That's another thing. That's another thing. But that travel thing, guys, we're going to find out about it. We're going to find out about it. And if you've been single most of your life, right there, or you have a bunch of guys, a bunch of boyfriend that you dump, every two, three years. It's impossible that if you're a red pill guy and you're going to be with a woman like that, we're going to find out about it. We're going to find out about it. That's it. It's that freaking simple. So let's keep going here. Really, I haven't spoken to the girl in, in 10 years, probably. I ran into her and her life is horrible. You know, she now works at the Four Seasons, you know, checking people in. And she had so much potential, but she thought that she could exchange her sex and her youth for power. And it didn't work. There you go. Look what you just said over here. She didn't realize that the feminists lied to her. And what was be the consequence of doing this? When you get home, uh, girls, your value go down. All the choice that you made as a young woman have consequence about your future. All the choice that you made from 16 years old till 30 years old, all that choice that you made is going to have a consequence in your future. And look what that woman said about her friend. All the choice that she made in the past, what she's living right now in the prison, this is the consequence of the choice that she made in the past. Work out for her. I really have an issue with... So, that's it. That's the best example about the feminist lie. This is, this is kind of crazy, eh? What the feminist said to woman, and the consequence is... The whole, the whole advice that the feminist said to women, 
the whole thing play against them. You see how, how fucked up that is? You see how fucked up that is? So we're going to watch that thing again. And I think the video is for the woman. When I say women need to be re-educated how to be a real woman. And the consequence of the feminist lie. What's going to happen if you follow the advice of the feminist? That's going to have an effect in your future. Now, women don't understand that your first priority in life should be to build a family and take care of your family. That should be your first priority. I don't care if you work. You could have a job. Well, what do I care if you have a job? That's fine. Now, as a woman, your priority should be your family. And stop opening your leg left and right. The feminist lie, the consequence of that. The guys don't want to be, are not going to want to be with you. And the men that you want to be with are not going to want you because of your past. And what the feminist is going to say, oh, you're wrong. Men are wrong. You're not supposed to think that way. Look, men are men. Study male nature. And that's how it is. End of story. Study male nature. That's how we think. And that's it. We're not going to change. And most blue pill guys, they, that take them years and years before they wake up. Before they wake up, they realize also that the feminist thing is a lie. The blue pill guy, you need to wake up. So let's listen to that thing again. I really have an issue with women pretending that they're stupid, that they didn't do anything to contribute to where they ended up, because I had these friends. There were some of us that wanted to go out and wanted to go to the bar and wanted to go to the club and wanted to party with our girlfriends and dance all night and then go back home. And then there were the girls that were looking for powerful men. I have these friends. I have, I, I had a best friend who I lost because she became one of these girls. We went out to a bar, she met a rapper, and then she became a groupie for the next 10 years of her life, literally. I haven't spoken to the girl in, in 10 years, probably. I ran into her and her life is horrible. You know, she now works at the Four Seasons, you know, checking people in and she had so much potential, but she thought that she could exchange her sex and her youth for power and it didn't work out for her. I... So there you go, boys. And like I said, that video is for me more for the woman. The consequence of the feminist lie. Right there. Right freaking there. Okay, guys. You like my content? Like, share, subscribe. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.